Yeah. <laughs> All right, gents. Barry, do you think you, you'd probably take this one? Do you want to let us tell us about the first time you met the... Yep. Uh, the Hoot Nanny met them in Florida. We went there and explored a few years ago and uh, we asked them could we borrow some of their uh, rad gear and they gave it to us and we gave them a bottle of Jemison and then we all collectively drank the bottle of Jemison and left the van out the back of the pub and it was broken into it and all their stuff was stolen. All their equipment was stolen. The van was broken into, all the shit was robbed. Yeah. It's been blamed on me for the last three years but I just like to put it on record that I locked the van. <laughs> so uh it was a match made in heaven after that really. <laughs> So, um, despite them losing all your gear, uh, what is it about the boys that you admire or love about them? Uh, just the crack, the naked taxi rides, the um, just banter, everything about it's great. Um, of course, drinking copious amounts of whiskey every night for two weeks straight. Music, just, man. You love music. The music is amazing. One shot of whiskey and off we go. Back to the county line. One shot of whiskey and off we go. Ten shots of whiskey and off we go. Ten shots of whiskey and off we go. Make that eleven. First time I met Hermit Green, uh, they were on the beach in Deerfield in Florida. And I caught wind that there was a band from Ireland coming, needed to borrow some gear and uh, to play a few shows with us. And so I went down to the beach that day to meet them and they weren't too hard to spot. They were the largest, whitest people on the beach. <laughs> Big, uh, white as driven snow. I couldn't believe it. I had to put my shades on just to look at them. A lot of us do person personalities as well. You know, I think yeah. if we play jazz music and they play that, uh, and they play uh, some other kind of music, then uh, <laughs> I think it's Philip? personalities there. Obviously, a little bit nuts, and that's uh, fun to be around. So. And they just happen to be really cool musicians. They, we are. Let's say if we play a gig together, we're very, we're very different types of music, but we are similar in, you know, what we enjoy doing, which is you know feeding off each other, buzzing on stage, and having a crack on stage, hmm. and with each other. Um, and they're exactly the same. They're probably a level above us for that. Just a, a technical playing aspect like their dynamic um their sense of expression and how they play and their tightness that's something anyone could learn from you know a rapper could go out and watch them play and he could take stuff from it because it's it's music at the end of the day I can't get her out of my mind. constantly diversifying and marrying into other genres of music anyway and that's how it continues to develop is that you you combine and you mix and match and and if you do that in a way that's kind of tasteful and, and I think I'd like to think the way we do it with the lads is that we complement each other and you play off each other's strengths and you bring out a new kind of colour by bringing together two shades from something else you know Wind in my face, I'm going home. Hey, 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 over the hill. I'm going home. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> 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 
remember all about fun and I remember, uh, yeah, I talked to him about it years ago and Dave, I think, yeah, it's just something that stands out in my head and he was like, we just, we just want to have fun and we don't take ourselves very overly seriously. Hmm. Every night I go out drinking, I look for that Barbie doll. I wake up naked and stinking, I'll never get laid at all. Now, when you use Cialis as a sleep aid and Viagra to pee, you know you got nothing going on. So, it sucks to be me. It sucks to be Dave. Oh, it sucks to be me. It sucks to be Dave. And the other thing is there, like a big thing with their show is their start, the start song and half song is going And next thing, and that's their kind of change of pace that they have in a lot of songs. like us, their, their attitudes and their, their spirit and their drive and the whole thing and they're all about having a good time. Uh, it's nice to see that. I think we're all like old fans who kind of playing music from the local playing music. And do you see this relationship with the two bands continuing indefinitely or? Absolutely. Yeah. The godfather of my kids. <laughs> well we were just actually talking about this and we're gonna go back borrow more of their shit and probably get it robbed again.